Hello, it's Elder here. And today I wanted to talk to you about these aqua training bags that I picked up. Uh, basically, I've been using various uh, Muay Thai bags and uh, heavy bags and, of course, good old trusty Bob. But uh, I came across these aqua training bags, uh, saw that they were made in the USA, which, of course, always uh, piques my interest. And I contacted the manufacturer, asked them some specific questions, liked what I heard, and decided to pick a couple of these up for our little headquarters where uh, I train and uh, obviously train some clients. And I want to go ahead and share my information with you on why I feel that this is a very viable product. Everything out there has its place. And I want to share with you my opinion on uh, why I really feel that these uh, aqua training bags are a great uh, addition to anyone's dojo or headquarters or uh, training center. So let's get started. Now these aqua training bags come in uh, various uh, sizes and even shapes. As I mentioned earlier, this one is the Bruiser, which basically is uh, modeled after a six foot one man. So it's uh, kind of a silhouette target, which is ideal for uh, various striking, more realistic striking and even weapons application. And then uh, there's these uh, teardrop type heavy bags that come in various sizes, weights, colors. So uh, make sure that you refer to my blog post also, because there's a lot of information I'm not gonna put into this video that you will, uh, or that you might find uh, or, or might need in order to make your decision. So uh, go ahead and I'll list all of the specs that I possibly can on the blog post itself. As I alluded to earlier, uh, as far as the unboxing, as soon as they uh, came in, I uh, took these out of the bag, they come deflated, and uh, you end up adding the water to, uh, yourself. Uh, this one here is approximately 160, pi uh, 160 pounds when filled, and we have this 21 inch uh, version here that when filled is approximately 190 pounds. Uh, now the key here is of course to fill these after they are hung. Uh, make sure that you have the right hardware. All right, so this, this does come with this uh, heavy duty bracket up here, uh, but the rest of the stuff is basically stuff that I uh, purchased afterwards in order to hang it and hang it correctly. Remember these are pretty heavy. Um, so once again, one of the first things that I noticed was the quality. Uh, second to none, I did expect that. Uh, considering that it was made in the USA and the price point of these bags also. But uh, just great quality, uh, definitely last. I even uh, tried different stick applications, different training knives application on these bags, and uh, they, he they held up and they will hold up. Uh, so I was kind of very impressed uh, just with that because it gives me a lot of flexibility instead of having to hang more bags or more targets in order to get the uh, versatility and the training that I need. So as per the instructions, the manufacturer uh, basically recommended that you do fill these up with a compressor with air, so they do take their shape, take their form, then go ahead and hang them up with uh, whatever hardware or setup you decide to utilize, and uh, fill it up with your hose. There's actually a hose attachment that comes in there. Uh, I try to put basically an ice bucket or a, a cooler underneath it just in case I need to catch some excess water, and uh, it ended up working out better than I thought. I thought I was gonna end up soaking my mats and uh, luckily I didn't, but of course, you know, be careful. If you do approach it like an idiot, you're gonna get idiot results. So just follow the uh, directions and you should be good to go. And keep in mind that as you're adding the water, the air that was put in there needs to come out. So once again, the way that the nozzle is shaped uh, shouldn't be an issue, but uh, definitely keep that in mind and just be cautious. Have somebody basically operating the, uh, the actual faucet. So that if you do need to turn it off, you can turn it off quickly and uh, save yourself some grief down the line. Now, the feel on these bags is excellent if you're doing any kind of soft work or whatever. It really does have a feeling that, as far as the reaction, does react very similar to hitting flesh. So it's not as hard on your hands, for lack of a better word, and uh, jarring, let's say, on your joints and on your bones, which is a great thing. As we train, we also want to get healthy as well as prepare combatively. Uh, that kind of uh, makes sense. But keep in mind that you do want to wrap your hands, you do want to use gloves, because these things are no joke. Uh, as you hit them, it doesn't feel too comfortable without uh, having some kind of protection on your hands. So, you know, be smart and uh, utilize these the way that they were designed to be utilized. Now, these aqua training bags are uh, designed to be utilized outdoors as well as indoors. I'm using them in an indoor application. Once again, depends on your climate and your setup and your uh, training area. But it's nice to have that versatility. Uh, but once again, once they're hung, you're talking about 190 pounds. So make sure you make that decision before uh, you decide to hang it. Because uh, to me, it is a relatively permanent <laughs> installation until uh, I decide to change things up or move them around, so on and so forth. But it will be a project. So keep that in mind, 190 pounds of pretty much displaced weight 
reminds me of the kettlebell. It's going to do what it wants to do. And uh, you pretty much got to do your damn best to control it. When it comes to the bruiser itself, you can tell here in the head part, uh, there are some dimples. And the way to remedy that is basically to fill it up with air. Because if I do go any higher with the water, it starts to spurt out because of uh, the actual location where we are uh, inputting the water, which is up here. So uh, keep that in mind that uh, if you do want it to be more uh, of a cylinder, more of a circle, more filled out, you can go ahead and add your uh, air compressor, fill it up with air, and uh, you will be good to go. So bottom line, if you are in the market for a couple of uh, heavy bags made in the USA, filled with water, completely different feel than uh, other bags that I have and have utilized over the decades, take a look at these uh, aqua training bags. They definitely are adding a different dimension to my training and to my clients' training. And uh, I feel that it's definitely money well spent. So uh, take a look at these. They work really well for me. And uh, hopefully, if you decide to uh, pick one up or two up or four up, they will also work well for you. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this review.